What's up guys, Coach here. Welcome back to the channel. We're out here at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Orlando where they just held the PNC Championship. Tiger and Charlie Woods out here, Justin Thomas, all the goats. We're out here playing, it's really cool. It makes me proud to be a Ritz-Carlton member. Either way, got a super fun one for you guys today. We are gonna be doing the three hole foam ball challenge. So we got this big old bucket of foam balls here, probably a lot more than I need. These are super difficult to hit. I was hitting a couple on the range. I hit driver just as far as I hit seven iron. They're definitely limited flight. They're super squishy. If you hit them too hard, they react weird off the face. They're almost impossible to putt. Bunker shots are super weird. They spin forward instead of backwards. It is freaking weird. It is so hard. Either way, like I said, we're gonna do a three hole challenge. We're gonna start on the second hole here at the Ritz-Carlton, par four. The next hole is a par five and the following hole is a par three. We're gonna double each par and we're gonna play from the front tees. So that means fours are now par eights, fives are par tens, and par threes are now par sixes. I'm super good at math. That's the most math I've done in 14 years. Okay, let's go. Woo! We have the Cobra Rad Speed Driver making its debut on the YouTube channel. I'm glad it's with foam golf balls. Super cool. I'm gonna hit them farther than they've ever been hit before. All right, here we go. First hole, par four, playing par eight. About 67 yards right down the pipe, baby. Let's freaking go. All right, we've got about 240 yards left here on this beautiful par eight second. We've got three wooden hand. Just gotta get it up there, baby. God, what a beautiful little fade. A little 50 yard fade, so sick. All right, three wood again. I think we're gonna have this club in our hand a lot today. Got about 190 left. This is ridiculous. All right, this is our third shot. Oh, shit, shit, boo boo. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. It like lands and releases forward so hard. All right, guys, 100 yards left. I'm gonna try to play a little fade off the bunker, see if we can get it to roll up on the front of the green here. Oh my gosh, I hooked it. It's in the bunker. Oh, holy shit. It landed on the left side and rolled so far right. Wow. This is hilarious. It landed all the way up there, and since the ball has no weight to it, it just shot so far right. Got about a 40-yarder. Let's see what we can do. All right, so you definitely can't play this like a normal bunker shot. You got to kind of clean pick it, I think, because I don't think the sand's going to... I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just hit it. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a... Sit. Go in the hole. <laughs> Almost hold it. All right, boys, no pressure, but this is an eagle opportunity here. We could start this round off hot. <sighs> Big putt here. I don't know how it's going to react. It, what? This putt breaks right, but the ball went left. All right, tap in for bird. All right. Starting it out one under. So I think I'm gonna have to start lining up my putts because that little seam there, I think that's what made my putt break the other way than which way it actually should have broken. Not a bad way to start the round, one under. Uh, we did have downwind on that hole, so I think that definitely helped a lot. This hole, par five, playing a lot longer and we've got some wind in the face. Birdie's gonna be tough, we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's par 10, par 10 technically, so I, you know, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I've never played golf with foam balls in my life. <laughs> How am I supposed to know anything about this? All right, let's just hit. Get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were perfectly in line with the center of the fairway, so we got that going for us, but uh, we didn't reach the fairway. So <laughs> that ball went nowhere. All right, second shot, you guessed it. Three woods in hand, let's go. coming backwards. That came backwards. What? All right, we still got about 320 yards left of the hole. Third shot, par 10. I'm gonna try to get less ball, try to keep it low. Mission accomplished, let's go. <laughs> Fourth shot. Run out. Gotta play all day. Gotta play all day, baby. As you can tell, my strategy is just Keep it low, keep it in play. 
and we'll make a par all day. I'm just gonna hit. Stop talking. Oh shit. Oh my god. I think I hit that 20 yards. All right, we got about 2:30 left. Sixth shot. Oh my gosh. The funny thing is, is I'm not topping that. I'm actually hitting it just slightly low on the face, but I'm not topping it or sculling it whatsoever. It's just so hard to get the ball in the air, but I also don't really want to get it in there because then it goes nowhere. If I hit it flush, it just goes up. It's crazy. Seventh shot, 190 left. Three shots left to make a par, eighth shot here. We're going driver off the deck, because why the hell not? We got about 150 left, we got to get it up there. <laughs> what is happening? Ball's on a severe upslope here. We've got about 120 left. This is, this one's tough. I'm telling you, that wind in the face really, really affected things. <laughs> you see that? I hit that so good. Pew! Pew, pew, pew! Gotta make this for par. We've got four iron in hand. Alright, we're in the bunker. That's actually not bad. I might hit this more often. Found the bunker here. Hopefully we can hit another good bunker shot. This is for an 11, I believe. I don't know. This is a lot of strokes. It's hard to keep count. But, uh, here we go. Crispy, not gonna lie, felt, felt pretty good. <laughs> Got a little slider for 12. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that before in my entire life. <laughs> Just a little slider for 12. All right, let's try clean up 13. <laughs> Hell of a 13. Hell of a 13. All right, triple bogey there. That brings us up to two over. We've got a par three slash par six next. I like my chances on that hole to get a birdie, maybe an eagle. Let's see what we got. What? Last hole we're gonna play today. Definitely not gonna play nine. This would take me forever and I'd probably just get really frustrated start breaking some golf clubs, biting through some foam balls, things like that. So uh, last hole here, par three playing par six. About 100 yards. I'm gonna hit this four iron here. I like the way that that uh, came off the face on that last hole. So hopefully we can get on in two and then two putt. And that's that's a little eagle there, baby. So that's the strategy, that's the game plan. Let's see if we can capitalize. Shut up. Hard pop forward, go, go. All right, that's not bad. I mean, that's pretty good. I should be hitting this thing all day. 40, 30 yards left here. I've got pitching wedge. I feel like if I hit it crispy, it's gonna do that thing where it hops forward, so. See if we can get it on it too. See if we can stay to the plan. Stop. All right, just on the back of the green. That was pretty close to being perfect. All right, y'all, we got a chance for a three here, <laughs> which would be an actual par, but that would be three under if we make this putt here. So let's try. I mean, let's give her a go. Not bad at all. Wow. Perfect speed. Perfect speed. What? Are you kidding me? Dude. Oh my gosh. I feel like my integrity would be compromised if I counted that putt. So we're going to say it's a five. We all know it should have been a four. We played that very well. That went according to plan. But what? Dude, that's straight up just like boinged off of there. 
How does that even happen? How frustrating, whatever. I mean, it makes for good content, so. All right, y'all, so if my math is correct, that puts me at one over for these three holes, which is actually way better than I thought I was going to do. I mean, should we have shot even? Probably. That was a little bit crazy. I can't believe that even happened right there, but either way, had a lot of fun with this. Not only was this the first foam ball challenge, it will probably be the last one. That was excruciating. I'd hate to lie to you guys and say that this was fun for me to make. It was really just a grind, but it was probably fun for you guys to watch. And if it was, hit that like button, turn those post notifications on, and please subscribe to the channel if you're not. I've got tons of awesome content coming, challenges, vlogs, travel stuff. So stay glued to the channel, boys. I appreciate the support so far. You know what time it is. It's Cerveza O'Clock. I'm out of here. Woo!